Plan Havoc is a platformer where your goal seems to be to kill the other players before they kill you and to get the most kills within the time limit. Here's how the developer, Lost in Japan, describes the game on Steam. Dynamic arenas and destructive arsenal, endless mayhem for two to eight players. Dive into varied stages, each offering unique layouts and environmental mechanics where you can destroy your friends or foes, ensuring fresh challenges and relentless action in every match. I'm sorry guys, but that doesn't really tell me what to expect. It would be better if you told me about the gameplay or the objectives because at this stage, I couldn't care less about your level design. Jumping right into the gameplay, Hitman Havoc drops us into the chaos with no tutorial to guide us. It's kill or be killed, but how are you going to do that is anybody's guess. The arsenal seems diverse, with weaponry ranging from basic to what seems like one-shot powerhouses. Not to mention you've got melee attacks up your sleeve, but without a rundown of what's what, it's like stepping into an armory blindfolded. The game tries to blend the chaos of an arena shooter with some extra flair, but it's like being handed a map without a compass. The roadmap at the start gives a glimpse of the future, but once you hit the home screen, it's a quick dive into either joining a game or hosting one. Customization's there with a variety of hats to deck out your character, but it's a mixed bag, with many options locked away or still under development. How you unlock these goodies isn't clear. Are we talking grind, pay or play? And here's where I might show my age, but I was lost. Trying to outgun the competition without a sense of direction or feedback felt like shouting into the void, unrewarding to say the least. Hitman Havoc has the sparks of potential. It's got the dynamism, the arenas, the promise of mayhem, but it's like a puzzle missing crucial pieces. A tutorial isn't just a nice to have, it's essential to welcome players into the chaos, to make sense of the arsenal and to turn the mayhem into something truly engaging. So that's Hitman Havoc for you. A diamond in the rough, perhaps, but one that needs a bit more polishing for this game to truly shine.